Hey pilots, Max from Crisscross Design here, and uh, today I will make a short uh, video review about uh, one of my latest frame, Fire Dragonfly. If you are following my work, then probably you know that uh, I'm using only top materials in production of frames, and this particular frame is not an exception. Uh, here is the same high strength T700 array carbon fiber composite sheets are used and this the Torre T700 is more or less two times stronger than uh, regular carbon fiber used in the most other uh, frames this particular frame is uh, one of the final um, one of the last pre-production prototypes and as you are probably noticed that it uh, missed some final touches like uh, chamfering edges. Uh, in the final products, uh, sure, all the chamfering uh, will be will be done. Uh, for instance, as as here, you you can see that all edges are chamfered. Sorry, let me try to focus it. Okay, now you see. So the, the edges are chamfered and they are not sharp. This is done for two reasons. The first one is uh, it delivers nice to touch experience. And the second, it, it is uh, safe, sure it is safe for wires and the battery straps. As you can see on the tape, uh, top plate, I am, I'm using uh, screws with them. Uh, uh, countersunk uh, head types. Uh, it is done with uh, one obvious reason to have a, a surface flat. On the bottom of, on, of the final products, uh, self pinching countersunk nuts will be used. Now let's speak about the construction and the options available of, uh, with this frame. Uh, the top and the bottom uh, plates are made from the 2 mm thick uh, carbon fiber uh, composite sheets. Uh, it is the common thing that I'm using in uh, most of my frames. But the arms are different. You can see that um, the arms are uh, evolved from the vertical arms to the hybrid arms. Um, I will speak about this particular um, thing I mean the, about the hybrid arms about the differences and the way I have choose that in in my other video but uh, right now I would like only to underline the and um, the um, I found that the hybrid arms are the best of uh, both worlds uh, worlds uh, of the regular arms and the uh, vertical arms they are strong they are easy to install they have low drag and easy to produ uh, easy to produce. The arms are made from two five millimeter thick uh, carbon fiber sheets that are stacked uh, together like that. Uh, it gives it brings uh, exceptional durability, but in the same time has a low drag and a small frontal frontal area and to bring additional rigidity to the whole construction i'm uh, using some special bars that uh, are installed uh, between the screws that are holding arms like that these small bars uh, making whole construction whole frame more solid and uh, with a high property against the torsion so the frame is not the frame is not wobbling and uh, not not bending at all these bars are made from the same uh, five millimeter thick uh, carbon fiber sheet and as you can see with this frame uh, i have installed two arms and uh, one bar and in total i have uh, 15 millimeter distance uh, between the plates as you can see with this particular frame, uh, the 15 millimeter uh, distance between the plates is enough to hold uh, double stack with the ESC and the fly controller over it. But in case it will be not en enough or you like to have more uh, space inside of the frame, 
just uh, you can just install two additional bars and uh, you you can raise uh, you can raise the total height to another five millimeter. Um, this thing brings you additional option uh, to play with uh, and you can try a uh, different position of the motors uh, i will i will try to show you uh, so you you can install for instance you can install the, the arms on the bottom and the um, two bars on the top uh, having a slightly lower uh, slightly lower uh, location of the center of gravity or you can shift it to the top and have a center of gravity uh, position it located uh, more higher it's up to you to try the different types or you, you want to you want to stick with something like in between in the in the in the middle i would like to underline that uh, all necessary hardware or and parts uh, goes with uh, with every kit so you will have both uh, 15 and uh, 20 millimeter high stacks uh, parts in one package. I would like just uh, add few more things about the space inside of the frame. As you can see, there is enough enough uh, location to put your receiver and transmitters, even uh, some uh, big ports over here, and as well. You have a, a space between the between the stack and the camera. Here, I I, I can recommend to install, for instance, the um, uh, transmitter video transmitter, so it stays somewhere in between the flight controller and the camera. Other thing that I would like to show you is the um, uh, camera mounting option or feature, whatever you call. So here I don't have nothing special. Two camera plates are holding the DVR in between, uh, but the uh, camera plates have um, camera plates as um, mounting points, mounting holes for my own universal uh, uh, GoPro session uh, camera pod. This pod have um, uh, have three holes for. Uh, possibility of adjustment of the angle with the 10 degrees in between so with this particular frame you have like by the default 20 degrees 30 and 40 degrees you can adjust it same holes are uh, uh, appears on the most of my frames so you don't need to print or buy different camera port for instance here I have uh, my ultralight uh, cross uh, frame and as you can see here here is the same uh, same mounting holes for uh, uh, for the same uh, for the same camera pole. So you just can uh, I mean like um, uninstall and install from uh, same pot from from one frame to another one. And the last thing that I would like to um, speak is. Um, uh, space for the for the battery. Uh, as you can see here, as I already mentioned, here is a here on the top you have a, a big flat surface, and uh, what I have found that um, here is enough space to put uh, some big fella like a 6s 2600 milliamp battery. I, I don't have uh, right now. Uh, such a big battery but for instance I have here 5S uh, 1500 and uh, as you can see uh, there is still still a lot of space a lot of space that can be used as I already said that um, here is enough space to put up to 6S 2600 that's it for now thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe, more to come, uh, some reviews of the uh, other frames and happy flying!